This week, our comment of the week comes to us from a new commenter, Leon Pope, who said, once again, guinea pigs are wondrous. This short brought joy to my heart, shalom to my soul. Well, shalom to you too, Leon Pope. We've recently run into a lot of people thinking about getting a guinea pig, so we thought we'd make this video about things to do before that guinea pig comes home. The very first thing that I want to talk about is the misconception that was brought up in the brief preview of this video. I don't think anyone should be getting a guinea pig. Guinea pigs are herd animals, so it's important to at least get two, but the more that you get, often the happier that they are. So it's important to make sure that you are mentally prepared to not just get the one, but get them some friends too. Good morning, piggies. Before bringing home your piggies, you definitely want to make sure you have a home for them. In my case, it's a cage, but some people have open enclosures where their guinea pigs can do their business. Bear in mind that pet stores typically do not carry cages that are big enough to actually support guinea pigs. They're still selling according to an older standard that didn't say that guinea pigs needed the kind of space that we now know that they do need. The Humane Society suggests that at a bare minimum, two guinea pigs are going to need seven and a half square feet. These standards are going to increase as you add guinea pigs to your herd. Interrupted space and vertical space does not count toward this minimum standard. So if your guinea pig has to climb over a gate or up a ramp, that space cannot count toward the square footage. Before you get a guinea pig, or two, remember, I would strongly encourage you to be incredibly realistic about the budget for these pigs. I've put together an estimate of my annual budget for my six guinea pigs. Some of the categories are a bit flexible depending on how many pigs you have, so just bear that in mind. some places that you can cut corners like I did when I got a less expensive hay than Oxbow because of the pandemic though I am moving my guinea pigs back onto Oxbow because they greatly prefer that of course you can make toys yourself guinea pigs are not picky as to how their toys look a shoebox is just fine some people claim that you can eliminate the bedding budget by using fleece but do remember that you have to one pay for that fleece and two pay for at least the water to wash it so I think it does all even out bedding wise a couple other one-time purchases to bear in mind would be nail trimmers though you can double your own fingernail clippers if you're careful and a kitchen scale you may already have one but you do want to make sure you're doing regular weight checks on the pigs Last but not least, before getting a guinea pig, you need to evaluate the time commitment that you're willing to invest. Guinea pigs are going to live for the ballpark of six years, so you need to make sure that you are willing to commit to that before bringing home your guinea pigs. In addition, they are not the kind of animals that you just sit in a corner and forget about them. Guinea pigs are happiest when they get to interact with the families that they live with. So really make sure that you not only have the long-term commitment, but the day-to-day -day commitment to spend time with your guinea pigs. Though short, we hope this has been an enjoyable and helpful video in your quest to become a guinea pig parent. In the meantime, feel free to drop any questions you may have in the comments below. And as always, if you really enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, hit that bell. We will catch you next time. Be cute. We love ya. Bye.